Hello everybody, Minus Storm here. Welcome back to Stellaris, the cultist campaign. In the last episode, we were continuing our efforts to uh, attack the enemy here by basically laying siege to the Nagyar system and the planet of Nagyaria, the Savelli homeworld, trying to drive or basically reduce the strength of the defending armies to a point where we would feel comfortable dropping our troops there uh, so that we wouldn't basically lose most of the army to conquer the planet and we would still have them available to help start taking back the Isk planets. But we got attacked by a sizable enemy fleet that kind of outmatched the one that we had there. Lost the space battle. Um had our primary fleet driven basically into retreat. I started trying to fall back the troop transports, but somehow, even though I began falling those troop transports back well ahead of the opposing fleet, they still didn't get out in time and uh, got pretty much decimated. So we had to rebuild the army. And we have to rebuild the uh, Hiroto Starfleet there, because that got pretty wrecked itself. And we've been trying to use our other fleet to basically fend off the attacking enemy fleets, trying to prevent them from being able to punch through our border defenses, so that they don't basically... Because if they push past these two, these two systems here, they have basically uninterrupted access to our entire um, territory. So I would rather them not get past these two star systems. Because if they do, we're done. So, um, at this point, I'm just going to try and hold everybody off until either I can get my fleets rebuilt or we can get to a status quo and hopefully get that settled as status quo. Um, because we're right now fighting half the galaxy. Uh, we're not really built for that. Um, so... Yeah. We'll see what we can do. So let's go ahead and get it back moving again and see how things play out here. We have this enemy fleet that's coming in. Heading to the Kibben system. I have my fleet here poised to intercept. What is this fleet doing? Moving to the Suscat small system, right. Yeah, that's a little tiny fleet. I'll be able to complete. knock that out, no problem. Spaceport under attack. Say that the spaceport's under attack? No. Attacking enemy vessels. All right. And you guys immediately begin heading to the Suscat Small System to intercept that other fleet. That's, that's a big enemy fleet. 41 Corvettes, 20 destroyers. Two battleships, four battle cruisers, three strike cruisers. All 
All right, well, let's let's buy up some. Uh, let's buy up some alloys. Get some reinforcements coming in ahead of time, because I know we're going to lose some ships. Construction complete. Deal with the freezing. You can't really do anything here. But hopefully we'll be able to get some repairs going before that fleet shows up. I'm going to put you on passive for the moment. So that you stay docked with the star base for as long as possible. Yep, they're going to be out for a little while. The problem is, is that the ISK are largely done. And I think if we do go back on an offensive operation, our goal should be to just push into ISK territory as fast as possible and begin liberating their planets. But, um... We have a ways to go before we're going to be able to do that again. So, I mean, we still do have the advantage in war exhaustion, so... Alright, fleet's fully repaired. Good. Then you guys switch. No, no, no. Stay on passive. Wait for them to come to us. Because then we have the advantage of having the firepower of the, well, the minor firepower of the starbase. Actually, you guys can fall back a little bit. Basically, use that starbase as a. Oh, well, never mind. Already in weapons range. And we're already knocking out Corvettes left and right. Good. Lost a cruiser there.
I think they have something over there with spinal lances. I could be wrong. I don't know, it is just a battleship. And I don't think I have any battleship components that have spinal lances. Uh, we just lost a battleship. Savage yep. Lords touching down. Yep, they're retaking the planets that we conquered. We lost two Corvettes, one destroyer, three cruisers, one strike cruiser, and a battleship. We destroyed 24 Corvettes, 13 destroyers, two cruisers, two strike cruisers, two battle cruisers, and both are battleships. Uh, ultimately a win, but that's a lot of hardware to lose. A lot of expensive hardware to lose. Our building is at Yamak Singularity Station. That's interesting. It'd be probably better if they spread those out across multiple stations, but I don't have a lot of control over that. Adversarial ground forces destroyed. We have successfully fended off the invaders. On Lapra. Oh, I didn't even realize that oh, they had must not have landed with any force there. I thought it was just going to be a wipeout. All right. All right. So we have a new first minister. Okay. do have a fleet. Angelic Republic fleet. So we should be getting repaired. All right, any additional threats? Move into the Lithier system. No. Not coming to us. Yep, they are beginning to repair slowly. Thank you. 
Alright, they're finally back. You start getting some reinforcements there. These guys are back. I can tell them to move to the Voom system. At least the general survived. Once we are repaired, which we are repaired now. All right, let's see. What do we? 5.7k strength. That's actually not terrible. It says, all ships in the fleet must be equipped with jump drives. All ships in the fleet should be equipped with jump drives. Who... Why do you not have a jump drive? No upgrades available. Construction complete. Hmm. That's odd. I know those designs have jump drives as part of their designs, and so they should be upgradable. Upgrade fleet. Savage hordes touching down. Oh, they're trying again. What do we got? They're landing droids. Battle droid legions. And the defense garrisons. Enemy presence exposed. I think that their invasion is going to fail again. Yep, there one of them was forced to retreat. in the mount.
construction complete. All right, I'm actually gonna start moving you down into this area. All ships must be equipped with jump drives. I know I've gone through all of my designs and made sure that they had jump drives. that before but I'll do it again uh, this needs a slight adjustment Definitely moving. Alright, with no immediate... See, yeah, they can fall back for upgrades there. I don't know why I was trying to send them all the way back to the Cybrex system to upgrade them before. Alright, we have zero resource exploitation. Food processing center, so I guess I'll go for that. All right. Yes, yes, we know there's a hostile fleet present. Oh, you. That carrier. Seven, ten, nine, eight, seven. That's an expensive piece of hardware, and I don't want to lose it. in merge in there okay yeah we get them upgraded Alright, the primitive alien civilization on Landis 3 has unlocked the secrets of the steam engine. Alright. This has revolutionary revolutionized their society in more ways than one. Vehicles and machinery making use of this technology can already be seen in their cities, and the first few factories are appearing. This world would appear to be on the brink of industrializing. Very good. They're about to have trains. Okay.
So, I'm going to continue to try to get more more alloys. And get this fleet reinforced. Oh, well. That's interesting. Construction complete. Uh, who's closest? How good is that defensive station? 4.3k. because it's probably a construction queue. Yep. Get those upgrades done. Vessels upgraded. Now I'm still saying we have upgrades to do? At least it will in a moment. Ah, it's been pretty bad today. With the freezing. Probably with this war, with all these fleets moving around... It's not been helping. Let's upgrade the carrier again. All right. Vessels upgraded. And it has a jump drive. But I guess it won't upgrade to replace the jump drives unless something else changes as well. So I had to probably go in here and change every single one of my designs slightly to get it to upgrade. Transport fleet has been fully repaired. Alright, that's good, I guess. We've got seven of the armies finished. Savage hordes touching down. All right, they're trying to invade Lapra again. They've actually landed some some real troops, and they're still losing. And losing badly. A 
adversarial ground forces destroyed. All right. You guys are repaired. Calling for reinforcements. We only have four defense armies on this planet. And I wish all of my fleets had jump drives on my ships. This will make this considerably easier. All right. There's a single enemy Corvette. I have no idea where you're going. You're probably not going to get past the outpost. At least I hope you don't get past the outpost. All right, well... We are at the end of the episode here. Three point four K, they have no orders. I'm gonna have to get back out there and take those back. And then we're gonna decide what we're gonna do. Do you want to try that northern route again? Or do we try and push straight across the Valdari here and try and get into Isk territory to start liberating these systems? If we're going to go on an offensive, I think that might be the best option, but um, we'll need to think about it. Alright, but for now, we'll end the episode here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.